up Meridian tonight. Exterminate! <laughs> steady now, Fred, steady. <laughs> you and I remember them, don't we? Very well. More than these youngsters. Oh, well, they don't know what good television was. Me. That used to terrify me, that programme. I hated Wonderful stuff. But what we must do? Well, we've got to improve. We must get on with the weather. We must improve the weather. Oh, we must shut improve. Up. We will exterminate. We must we'll improve. We'll get on with the weather. <laughs> Well, today it's been a day, we've had some showers around, and now we've got a little spot of rain down on the coast. Outbreaks of rain have already started. That rain's going to be with us overnight tonight. And this is the way it's going to be right the way through the week. There'll be a mixture of some sunshine, showers and rain, and our best chance of a dry day probably coming along on Wednesday. Now, have a look at the satellite picture. You can see these patches of cloud. They came through us last night, they came through us this morning. They gave us those showers as we went through the day. But this is the area we're watching, this band of cloud. You can see it beginning to widen up as it comes towards us. The very strong winds aloft just pushing it along. Now underneath that we've got the next set of fronts and already it's raining down on that south coast and those fronts will bring us outbreaks of rain as we go through the night. On the chart for noon tomorrow we can see the first front just beginning to clear away from us. So it's a wet start tomorrow, it should dry out for a while but then we've got another front just to the north that's coming through in the afternoon and that'll bring a scattering of showers. So quite a mixed bag coming along. So into this evening then, those outbreaks of rain gradually spreading right the way across the area. They'll be with us right the way through the night and some of them could well be on the heavy side. But it is going to be a bit of a mild and muggy night. Your lowest temperature is around 12, that's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. And we could well pick up a strong southerly wind for a while as we go through. And then tomorrow morning, I think you'll find in the west of the area, it's a wet start. Now that rain gradually dying out as the morning goes on, and it'll start to brighten up. I think we're luck, we may see a few glimpses of the sun as we come to midday. But there is going to be a good deal of cloud in the afternoon, and that other front will come drifting down, it'll bring us a scattering of showers, and then a bit more in the west, sunshine coming out to finish the day off. And even in the east of the area, it's going to be very similar. We'll have that wet start drying out, I think, towards late morning, and then through the afternoon, that scattering of showers and then some late sunshine coming through. Now temperatures tomorrow will be a little higher than today. They could reach 20, that's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The winds though still on the brisk side and coming from the west or the southwest. Now looking ahead into Wednesday, I think most of the day will be dry. There'll be a fair amount of sunshine around for a while, but it will cloud over and we could well see some rain late in the day. And then into Thursday, a repeat of tomorrow. It's rained for the morning and showers for the afternoon. And then as we go into Friday, a brighter day, but there will still be a scattering of showers around, but getting a lot warmer warmer for Friday. Our picture tonight is by Robin Wilcox and the summary. Tonight, wet and breezy. Tomorrow, morning rain, afternoon showers. Thank you, Carl, very much indeed. Tonight's main story here in the South. A man from Hampshire faces losing his four-year-old stepchild in a bitter custody battle. Adam Charman could lose Mariana to her natural father since her mother died in a motorbike crash. Well, that's about it for tonight. I'm off to get some Doctor Who videos for Fred and Carl. <laughs> Peter Henley has the late news for you. And we'll be back same time tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Until then, bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>